Hi there, it's Venus with Live. Extreme. High speed two. Of end of the line cut. Burning the Manchester video, UK 23. London and Birmingham first opens. It won't go beyond Old Oak Common in West London. Indeed. Time on digital is 22, 23 pm in the evening. And it is. A new station at Euston. This of October, Thursday, 23. Could save six and a half billion pounds. The station would have six, not 11 platforms, but crucially, private sector investment would be used. The idea being How embarrassing this government is. Alongside the station. The entire Houston scheme would depend on enough of that investment being secured. Rishi Sunak's big idea yesterday was spending money on local stuff. Cancelled HS2 second stages on other smaller transport projects around the country instead, including Aye. road improvements. The bulk of those billions would not have been spent for years yet. But the transport secretary insisted some would be available sooner. There was some money going to be spent, and it was hundreds of millions of pounds in the in the next few years. So some of that will be available earlier. We will have early investment in just the next few weeks in us, for example, being able to maintain the two pound bus fare, which is hugely important to those people that use buses, the most popular form of public transport. Reference there to the bus fare cap in much of England. The details and dates of many other projects are as yet unknown. Labour leader Keir Starmer accused the government of taking a wrecking ball to HS2 and reheating old proposals in its place. So <laughs> what would he do? Well, I think that after the mess that the government has made Aye, of HS2, it has indeed. then um, it's impossible to commit to reinstate that. They've blown such a hole in it and they're already talking about releasing the land that would have been needed to take the line to Manchester. He did say better east-west rail connections had to happen. But even if the next election brings a change of government, there's no guarantee HS2 in full would be revived. Katie Austin, BBC News. No, it's history now. That part of the world. Of hate crimes, there you go, subscribe to the channel. Sunday, don't forget to like this video. Bye for